By all means, let's destroy it. I accidentally hit the Windows key. I'm here to help. Okay, so that plague we've been hearing about is being caused by a sort of infected grain that's being distributed. Oh shit! Oh, they're killing villagers. Oh, yeah, stand there by the fire. Yeah, wow. Skeleton hits you in the back with a sword. Yeah, it's great. Healing ability can harm undead units. Even uh, guys like that who technically weren't actually dead. Just worshippers of the undead, you know. Or if this level's up. Certainly. For honor. Well, uh, he's undead or of course. more widespread than I was thinking. For honor. It's being spread by grain instead of sort of necromancy from the orcs. Maybe it's uh maybe it's not the orcs. Greetings. We are priests from Quelthalos. We've come to help heal the land of this strange curse. As always, the generosity of the elves is greatly appreciated. You should know that there is a granary warehouse at the far end of this village. This evil blight may be evident there as well. We'll check it out. Elves exist in this universe. Uh, I guess it's the first time we're really seeing them in this game. Although they're now, they don't have quite the same kind of uh, units that did in the earlier games. Like Warcraft 2, all of your archers were elves. In this, you're really only going to see the is my aid the priests and the sorceresses. Not Jaina as a sorceress. She's a human. But these guys here and a unit called the sorceress are both elves. And let's click on this guy a bunch of times to see what he says. Is someone injured? Scalpel. Sponge. Magic wand. There is peace and serenity within the light. Clear. Cross over, children. Cross over into the light. I have been chosen by the big metal hand in the sky. <laughs> Side effects may include dry mouth, nausea, vomiting, water retention, painful rectal itch, hallucination, dementia, psychosis, coma, death, and halitosis. Magic is not for everyone. Consult your doctor before use. Yes, my friend. The light is my strength. <laughs> okay. Uh, characters like Arthas That's and Jaina really won't say funny things. I can help. Shh. I'm trying to think here. I'm no warrior. All I ever wanted was to study. The currents of magic are in upheaval. I pray my father is safe. Things are starting to get a little weird. That's curious. Shh, I'm trying to think here. I'm here to help. Yeah, it's not really that funny. Of course. Justice has come. I guess the skeletons don't count as proper undead. Doesn't make any sense. Okay, uh, the new units that we picked up, the priest units, are actually pretty useful. They're sort of like the orc shaman in the sense that they can do attacks and stuff, but they're not really that useful for attacking. All that kind of stuff. Their main ability is to provide healing to your fellow characters. Now, say, hey, but Arthas could do all that kind of crap before. What do we need priests for? Well, they auto-heal. So they'll heal even when you don't tell them to. Anybody who's close enough to them, as long as they're injured and the priest has enough magic, they will heal. And now that we're facing more and more undead enemies instead of orcs, using Arthas's healing ability to damage the undead is becoming a more and more attractive option. So we're going to be doing that a little bit more now. Since Arthas doesn't have to save his magic or healing potential. The hell are you men shooting at? We're blasting those damn skeletons, sir. This whole flaming village is crawling with them. Well, I could use your help. We've got a warehouse to destroy at the end of town. Let's get to fight. Show us a target. Is there danger? What's the plan? New ability from Jaina, I can uh, Sounds interesting. cast some crazy magic like this. The light is my strength. 
for honor. Betrayer of the light. I can help. No one was there by that time. Damn it. <laughs> Justice shall be done. Foul knave. We also have the mortar team. A couple of gnomes that run around busting stuff up. I think they're gnomes. It could be dwarves. I don't know. I guess they're dwarves. But they're a little bit more of a siege unit kind of thing. So I'm here to help. Inventory is full. I'll make Jaina take it. Sounds good. Justice shall be done. How may I serve? That's curious. Show us a target. Let's get to fighting. Show us a target. It's you and me, pal. We've got the synergy. I'm TNT. I'm Dynamite. Yeah. <laughs> we must defeat the dwarves. Oh, we are the dwarves. Oh. You've got a chip on your shoulder. Mm, yes, and a bit of fish too. And that's how baby dwarves are made. Ah. Clearly, Tassadar has failed us. You must not. What's that? Get your finger out of that bunghole. <laughs> Burning, looting, bombing, shooting. Take this, you bastard! Let's get to fighting. It's also another not quite hero way? unit, but more powerful than your regular unit. The captain. I don't know if he says anything different though, so let's click him a bunch. How may I serve? What is your wish? I should have been a farmer like my father wanted. Lousy pay, constant danger. Well, at least I get to hobnob with royalty. I am ready. What is your wish? I'm here to help. Okay, whatever. Um Of course. Mantle of intelligence. Uh no, no, don't don't let Jaina take it. Hello. Justice shall be done. I'm gonna make sure all that kind of thing goes to Arthas. A sound plan. Certainly. What's the plan? I'm here to help. I stand for the light. Cause he'll be around longer. Is there danger? A sound plan. Okay, this mission's almost oh. over. Certainly. A sound plan. We've been discovered, my brothers. Flee and continue with the operation. I'm sorry I can't stay in chat, but duty calls. That creature looks like it was sewn together from different corpses. Let's study it after we kill it, okay? I'll take care of it. That's an abomination, a big giant monster that does lots and lots of damage. Not a hero unit, of course, but it is still powerful nonetheless. Oh, Jane has taken damage. Of course. I'm here to help. Jaina is a ma uh, a mage and uh, not a melee unit. Now. Jaina's not a melee unit, so it's danger? she's uh, like a lot of melee units, not really suited for close-up fighting ranged fighting good and she has other abilities plan. that make up for that deficiency but you don't really want to put her face to face with an enemy like an abomination father, of course a sound plan am i missing something here of course oh Justice. in grain warehouse What was that? And who was that wizard dressed in black? I believe that the robed man was a necromancer. Obviously, he and his lackeys are behind this plague. Well, it's a good bet we'll find him and the answers we're looking for in Anderhall.
must be wiser than the king. The end is near. I told you before, I'm not interested in this nonsense. And I've wasted my time here. You can show yourself now, Jaina. He's gone. I'm sorry for eavesdropping, Master, but... <laughs> it's your inquisitive nature that I've come to rely on, child. That crazed fool's convinced that the world is about to end. I've heard the rumors of the plague spreading throughout the Northlands. Do you truly believe that the plague is magical in nature? It's a strong possibility. That's why I need you to travel there and investigate the matter. I've arranged for a special envoy to assist you. Yes, Master. I'll do my best. I know you will, child. Farewell. Prince Arvis, we've been waiting here for hours. Are you sure this friend of yours is coming? I'm sure. Jaina usually runs a little late. We must help her! Stay your blade, Captain. She can take care of herself. <laughs> Gentlemen, meet Miss Jaina Proudmoore, special agent to the Kirin Tour talented sorceresses in the land. Looks like you haven't lost your touch. It's good to see you again, Jaina. You too, Arthas. It's been a while since a prince escorted me anywhere. Yes, it has. Well, I guess we should get underway. Our sources believe the plague originated in the region north of here. We should check out the villages along the King's Road. Okay, we have, uh, for the first time, we have two hero units that we can actually control. We have Arthas, of course. There's something amiss at the bridge ahead. A sound Great. But we also have Jaina, a uh, sorceress who is capable of summoning a water elemental. Boom! The helper fight. I'm here to help. Having two hero units that we can actually control is a pretty big, a pretty significant boost to our ability to fight here. For honor. My lord, someone has destroyed the bridge from the far side of the river. There is another way to cross, but it is not as safe as it used to be. A sound plan. Okay, we gotta go around. A sound plan. Is it? Certain now, just like our bandits, run. Of course. Uh, of course, we have bandits. The town. Save us. Some of the voice acting in this game is just atrocious. <laughs> you are past the the betrayer of the light. For my father and king. Yeah. A sound plan. No, there was nothing here. Of course. Oh, thanks so much. I have a reward for you. Damn well better. Didn't do that for free. For honor. Yeah, I didn't want that. A sound plan. My lord, there is an ancient fountain shrine nearby. Legends say that its holy waters can restore health and heal grievous wounds. That could prove to be useful indeed. For honor. Great. All right. Certainly. Now, just like Arthas is the child of the king, and the second generation to uh, 
be involved in this conflict against the orcs. Jaina is the daughter of a character from Warcraft 2 named... Uh, oh, I'm not, I don't know what his first name was, but he was an Admiral, uh, an Admiral Proudmoore, the leader of their navy of Lauderon. Fortunately, a lot of these characters didn't really get much of a kind of a backstory or personality or anything like that in the previous games. Like, the king was only referred to as a person who existed, and Admiral Proudmore was only referred to in the in the um, mission briefings and stuff of Warcraft 2. Of course. So, like, Jaina Proudmore and Prince Arthas are essentially getting more, uh, a better character treatment than their parents ever did. But such was the way of the kind of storytelling that we saw back in the 90s when the original games were produced. Justice shall be done for honor. I imagine they would do an even better job of it now had this game been made today in 2016 instead of 2003. Of course. As I understand it, this game was in production for a number of years, probably starting around the year 1999. Then it took a while for it to get released. Their arrows won't get through. Skeletons? Slay them all immediately. Skeletons, huh? Prince Arthas is Billy the Heel. Can also be used against undead units, so they're not these for some reason. I stand. Did I just lose someone? What were those creatures, Sergeant? Undead, my lord. This whole village has gone mad. We did our best to defend the villagers, but... We'll get to the bottom of this. I stand for the... Okay, I gain these guys as, as uh, members. Now, the... In the first two games, the orc, uh... Death Knights and Necrolites had the ability, with a lot of dark magic on their side, they had the ability to raise the dead, and that was what was used instead of the ability to heal. Whereas the human clerics could heal, the Necrolites could raise the dead. It kind of evened the odds a little bit on the idea that the humans could heal characters that had not yet died, and the orcs could resurrect characters that were already dead. Uh, allowing them to sort of continue to, f to fight even if they had been defeated. In practice, it wasn't quite as useful, in my opinion. I never really found that the skeletons were capable of doing much more than just, um... The skeletons were capable of doing little more than just exploring areas ahead of you that you couldn't... That it wasn't really worth it to send your proper units out to investigate this must be the shrine that the old man spoke of any man who drinks from these light blessed waters will be healed although I guess rising skeletons from the grave um, would maybe possibly turn the tide of a battle that you're already losing like a couple of people fall so you raise a couple of skeletons to help out but their attack power is low, and they move slow and didn't survive very long. So, I mean, like, it really wasn't that good of an idea. In this game, the undead take on a whole different level, you know. Much more, uh, but a very different kind of thing. Of course. For honor. It's as if the land around that granary is... Could the grain itself be plagued? Let's hope not. Those crates bear the regional seal of Anderhal, the distribution center for the northern boroughs. If this grain can spread the plague, there's no telling how many villages might be affected. <laughs> 